There's been a lot of interest in the use of supplements and vitamins um, to treat mental health conditions or looking at when deficits of certain vitamins or, or um, minerals can negatively impact our mental health. Most of the nutrients and vitamins uh, we get, uh, we get from the food we eat. Um, we tend to actually absorb them better, generally speaking, um, from dietary forms than taking supplements. Um, we know that certain vitamins uh, uh, are linked to mental health conditions. The one that's probably um, best um, known, uh, particularly in, in northern climates, is vitamin D. Um, uh, individuals who have low levels of vitamin D are at risk of depression, and uh, individuals um, who have low levels of vitamin D that are given vitamin D, it can actually improve their, um, their mood. So vitamin D is important for a number of things. Uh, it's, it's essential for physical health, things like uh, bone density, a number of chemical processes in your body. But there's a lot of res uh, research that's been done that shows that individuals that don't have enough vitamin D can have depression or depression-like symptoms. For people that have seasonal depression, vitamin D has been researched extensively, but also yeah, in individuals with vitamin D deficiencies. Getting more vitamin D in your diet or taking a supplement um, probably isn't going to be enough to resolve depression on its own, but it can help improve mood, particularly in individuals when, vit uh, when vitamin D levels are low. So vitamin D is usually uh, usually comes in through diet, through foods. There are some foods that are fortified in vitamin D. Um, milk and dairy products are kind of the most common ones. Um, you can take um, different forms of vitamin D as supplements. Um, the, the biologically active form is vitamin D3 or what's called cal calcitriol. Um, in your body, the way the vitamin D gets converted into its active form is through exposure to sunlight. And so one of the concerns we have uh, in Alberta and in more northern environments is particularly in the winter when we have decreased exposure to sunlight and natural light, our bodies tend to have lower levels of vitamin D. Uh, 